What supplements are best for building muscle? My name is Lauren Conlon. I'm an elite trainer for First Form, and today we're gonna go over a few of my favorite and research back supplements that are gonna help you build muscle. So first and foremost, protein is king. Everybody knows that the absolute best supplement that you can take to build muscle is going to be protein. Protein is the building block of also, we all hear about this, yada, yada. I don't need to go on and on about protein. You know the importance of it. So we have two different types of protein, formula one and level one. Level one is going to be a blend. It's gonna be a slower, more sustained release. Whereas formula one is going to be a hydrolyzed whey isolate. It's gonna be really fast digest. This is great around training, or some people just find that they digest this a lot better. So we know protein is great for building muscle. Overall protein, uh, in your diet, so it doesn't just have to be from protein shakes, this is gonna be all protein that you're consuming, this just happens to make it a little bit easier. Um, but what else is going to help with building muscle? And for this video, I really wanted to focus on performance, because if we are going to be training harder, then we are gonna be able to build more muscle. Of course, in the context of a proper diet, having enough calories to build muscle and having enough protein specifically within those calories. But when we're talking about performance, three of the most top research supplements are going to be carbohydrates, creatine, and caffeine. So in terms of carbohydrates, we have two different products, Intraformance and Ultraformance, and these are going to be carbohydrate blends as well as electrolytes in these products that you're going to take intra workout. Some people are gonna drink it like on the way, you can start sipping it on the way to the gym. Um, this is really gonna depend on when you're training, how much you've consumed, um, maybe beforehand, if you're going in fasted or you know just haven't had a meal, I would suggest probably starting to drink this on the way to the gym um, and then finish this during your session. So this is gonna be really quickly digested um, and this is gonna help a lot of people say when they take a product like this that you know like that second half of your workout we kind of start dragging ass a little bit and you're like oh my intensity is not really there having a carb product is really going to help and pro tip this is really useful especially if you're dieting now i know dieting isn't necessarily a time where you're building muscle we all know this you're trying to maintain your muscle though right so if we can improve training performance even during a deficit you're going to hold on to that hard earned muscle that you've built and this can really help even like 10 grams of carbohydrates so carbs number one having some kind of liquid product is really gonna help boost your performance. And then creatine. Creatine is one of the most researched sports science supplements. You always hear this too. It's so like, okay, we all know. Um, creatine monohydrate is phenomenal for power, output, and strength. And there's a bunch of different types of creatine. Creatine monohydrate is the best. It's cost effective and it's the most researched back. So we would highly recommend that just five grams. The hardest thing about creatine honestly is remembering to take it. I think everybody who's ever started creatine supplementation is like, did I take that? So try to put it in something, put it in your protein shake. It doesn't matter when you drink it. If you take your greens every day, which you should, you can put it in there as well. It blends up super easily and there's no flavor to it. And then lastly, caffeine, everybody's favorite. Uh, we're gonna have a few different products here. So we have uh, Megawatt, we also have Project One, and then we do have our First Form Energy Drinks as well. So having some type of caffeine before training is certainly going to be an ergogenic aid and boost your performance, but we don't wanna have too much caffeine. There's absolutely no need to just totally um, smash your body. I don't know why it's going with that. Well, um, <laughs> Take it from me, folks. <laughs> Okay, so you don't need to have too much caffeine, and especially if you're going to be training something like a CrossFit session, or if you're doing jujitsu, something like that, make sure you don't have too much caffeine, um, and that's all going to depend on your own personal receptors and how well that you tolerate that. So, when we're talking about building muscle, protein is most important throughout your diet and also as a supplement, but if you're gonna think about building muscle and improving our performance, carbs, creatine, and caffeine are all going to be amazing things you can add to your stack. So hope this was really useful for you guys. Make sure that you're gonna add these things to improve your performance and build the muscle that you want. And if you enjoyed this content, make sure that you subscribe and we'll talk to you guys next time. Mm. <laughs>